When working on syncopated rhythms, sometimes the best way to learn them is to figure out where you rest and on what beat. Is it on the beat? Is it off the beat? Let's take a look. If we count this out, we'd say one and two and three and four and. Therefore, when we are counting in our head the number two, we would rest. And when we would count in our head number three, there would be a rest as well. Try clapping this rhythm. One and two and ready and go. One and two and three and four and. Identifying where the rests are can help us. Let's do it one more time. Ready and here we go. One and two and three and four and. Here's another syncopated rhythm that you have to know for Dia de Ale di Alegria. The dotted half note gets a beat and a half. When we are counting in our head and playing this note, we count in our head one and two. When we get to this eighth note, it's the other half a beat two. We should be switching our bow direction and saying end in our head. This is beat three. Here is beat four. Four, end. Let's go ahead and clap this out. One and two and three and ready, go. One and two and three and four and one and two and three, four and. Again, no rests in this particular uh, measure of rhythm, but this note needs to be held for a beat and a half. And so does this note, one bow, a tie. So this is almost exactly the same as what you just did. We continue to have this be a tie the difference is we put a curved line at the end of the phrase or the measure, and we actually change notes, so therefore it's called a slur. Let's go ahead and clap this rhythm. Actually clap which when you would change your bow. So clap only when you would change your bow direction. One and two and ready, here we go. One and two and three and four end. I'm gonna put in that end because that's gonna help me not go too quickly to beat four. Let's do it again. Ready, here we go again. One and two and three and four end. That's only when you switch your bow. Sorry, this is so shaky. I couldn't get my document camera to work. Here's another syncopated measure of rhythm. You'll notice we tie the note between end and three, and we slur from end for end to the next measure. Again, I want you to clap with me, but only clap when your bow changes direction. Here we go. One and two and ready, go. One and two and three and four and. That's tricky, let's do it again. Ready, go. One and two and three and four and. I almost missed it. Let's say our bow direction now. Ready, go. Down, up, down, up, down. Oops, up, up, up. Let's try again. Ready, go. Down, up, down, up, up, up. All right, these are tricky rhythms. Good luck learning Dia de Alegria. All right, everybody, this is bowing, rhythm bowing number one from de, Dia de Alegria, I say that wrong. Let's take our open D and play this four times through. Open D, everybody, one and two and three 
and ready, play. One and two and three and four and one and two and three and one and two and three and four and two and three and four and. Let's go to rhythm bowing number two. Sorry for the, the dry erase marker there. Remember the first note gets a beat and a half, second note does two, and then two eighth notes. We'll play this four times. One and two and three and ready, play. One and two and three and four and one and two and Rhythm bowing number three. For this one, just go ahead and do that slur with one bow. Don't worry about changing bows. Here we go. One and two and three, four times go. One and two and three and four and one and two and three. Finally, our rhythm bowing at number four. Again, you're gonna go ahead and just do the slur as one bow on the D string and the tie as well. Four times through. One and two and three and ready, go. One and two and three and four and one and Practice those all again. I want to um, also let you know that I always stop my bow slightly before the next bow direction. Just a reminder to do that. Bases, we're going to start at measure one and work through to the first note of measure 11. Um, in measure one, you have rhythm bowing number two that you were just working on. And in measure three, you have rhythm bowing number one. So make sure you're counting every eighth note in your head as you're playing. Let's play, um, let's try playing measure one only. Ready? And uh, here we go. One and two and three. Do that again, ready, same thing. One and two and three and four and. Now try playing measure two. One and two and three and ready, go. One and two and three and four and. Do that again, ready, same thing. One and two and three and four and one. So those are the two rhythms you're going to be working with um, for, for this measure 1 through 11, except for measure 10. So let's take measure 10 alone. Notice you're going to shift to second position to grab the C. And then you're going to cross, just so you know, in measure 11, over to first finger C in second position. Then you can shift back. All right, so let's go ahead and play measure 10 and 11, how about? One and two and three and four and. One and two and three and four and. One and two and three and four and. Let's do it again. One and two and three and ready, go. One and two and three and four and. One and two and three and four and. All right, so now we're ready to play from measure one to maybe through measure 11, we should do. Count carefully. One and two and ready, here we go. 
one and two and three and four and 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 Faces, we're now at 11, and I just want to make sure you know this is rhythm bowing number three. So we go down, up, down, okay? And we got to make sure to make our bow changes at the correct time while always counting every eighth note. Let's start at measure 11 in second position. Here we go. One and two and three, and here we go. One and two and three and four and one and two and three and four and one and two and three and four and one and two three and four two one and two one three and two and three and four one and two and three and four and Notice we did the same shifting halfway through. One more time at 11. One and two and ready, here we go. Okay, basses, let's start at the beginning and play from the beginning to the first two notes of 18. Count carefully. I'm going to try and count out loud the eighth notes the whole way. Sometimes I do get messed up, so hang in there. Um, that's what you should be doing when you're practicing. Or set a metronome to every eighth note. Here we go. One and two and ready, beginning. One and two and three and four and one and two and three and four and one and two and three and four and one two and three and four and one and 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 I had there, but very good. Practice carefully, cello or basses. Basses. It's the basses. Get it right, Miss Angus. Practice carefully so that you're really, really clean on your rhythm. All right. You hear me, Cody? Do you hear me, Annika? Any of you bass players at Oakland? <laughs> 